Osegwe has been sworn in as the 32nd president of the Nigerian Bar Association. The senior advocate of Nigeria revealed plans to restore confidence in the nation's justice delivery sector and build a proactive bar. I here present to you the 32nd president of the Nigerian Bar Association. Afa Mosigwe's swearing in comes with celebrations by his supporters across the bar body. But in his inaugural speech, he calls for moderation in actions and utterances so as not to further polarize the bar. In order to collectively work, work towards achieving the enormous task ahead of us, we should therefore not celebrate in a manner that may further polarize the bar. The election is over. It is now time to work together to build a bar that represents what we all believe in. We therefore need all hands on deck. The senior advocate takes over from Yakubu Chinoko Meikiao, also an SAN, at a time when the clamor for better administration of justice and respect for the rule of law rages across the country, which he promises to address. Let us put our hands on the plow and not look back. Because anyone who does that, understanding that the rebuilding of Nigeria is a collective responsibility. We work towards ensuring that government policies and programs meet the yearnings and aspirations of our people as they relate to the provisions of good governance, transparency in financial expenditure, reducing drastically the cost of governance, and ensuring that the welfare of our people is given topmost priority. The new NBA president also set up two committees, amongst you, others, to conduct quarterly reviews of appellate court's judgments and push for justice sector reforms. We hereby set up the Adjudicative Review Committee, ARC, of the NBA. The committee will periodically review the decisions from the appellate courts, especially the Supreme Court and Court of Appeal, and present well-researched commentaries on such cases that nudge the course towards a more coherent and consistent adjudication that promotes the rule of law and democratic freedoms. Mr. Osigwe adds that the NBA will also ensure strict compliance with the recent Supreme Court judgment which proclaimed financial independence and autonomy for all the local governments in Nigeria in line with the Constitution as amended. Kemi Poladi, TVC News, Lagos. Elsewhere. The Koka Center has called for the promotion of Nigerian citizenship over identity to achieve social cohesion in the country. The center, at a dialogue and public presentation of a report finding tagged strengthening social cohesion in Lagos State, said it is important for the country to be more proactive to avoid a full-blown crisis as seen in Rwanda. Moya Thomas has more. The Kuka Center says, as a fallout from the 2023 general elections in Lagos, it is important to build a sense of common citizenship among Nigerians. The center conducted a research after the election and discovered that the deep division among Nigerian citizens on religious, political, and ethnic affiliation requires urgent and drastic action from the government. You cannot be a Nigerian citizen. In one place, you are an indigent. In another place, you are a settler and you lose certain rights. That shouldn't be the case. What we are calling for is common national identity. You are a Nigerian and you have the right to leave any part of this country to thrive, to grow, and to realize your God-given potentials and to use those potentials to contribute to the growth of the country. That is our argument. One of the cases of absence of common citizenship, that you live in Lagos doesn't mean you are from Lagos. And if you are not from Lagos, by their own definition, sometimes they would not agree to sell land to you. Sometimes the cost of entrepreneurship is raised because you are a non-indigenous and you have to pay twice as much for your business to in Lagos State. The Kuka Center says this research findings will not be limited to Lagos but had to start with Lagos State due to its peculiarity. The report recommended inclusive governance, judicial and constitutional reforms that includes a need for common citizenship and national identity. Muya Thomas, TVC News, Abuja. Now, Mandate Secretary of the Women Affairs Secretariat in the Federal Capital Territory, Adebayo Benjamin Slani, is asking women in Nigeria to actively participate in the Every Home a Garden competition. 
This appeal was made during a press conference encouraging women to participate in the national initiative. Senior reporter Habida Lawal has more and will be back with business news. With the global population expected to reach over 9 billion by 2050, there is a continuous need to increase fruit production and buffer stocks. There is now a growing advocacy for women to be in the front line of growing fruit crops and vegetables to enhance food security. The Every Home a Garden, an initiative of First Lady Oluremi Tinubu, is meant to encourage women to practice home farming. Where there is no hunger, there will be no hunger. Uh -huh. Because the truth, we always hear it said more commonly, that a hungry man He's is an angry, angry man. But when we are able to provide food, when we are able to grow food for ourselves, in the first place, a lot of the bitter complaints that goes against the government, we now look at ourselves and say, rather than point fingers with my hand, what have I grown with my hands? And when you look at that, we are now just, the first lady isn't just stopping there. The other day we had the agricultural grant scheme, where she invested in 20 farmers each, women farmers, across the nation. And each one of those, in Abuja, our FCT farmers, the grantees now, their testimonials are becoming live stories that authenticate the commitment of this dispensation through the instrumentality of the First Lady's Initiative, the RHI, her office, but most importantly, the um, um, invest that 500,000 that she gave to each one of those farmers has completely changed their lives. Amongst them, we have women with disability who, whatever their challenge had been, it is now passed. Already proposing on getting uh, demonstration sites, a demonstration site within the city where this thing will be, will be seeing it and will be doing it. The competition is part of a national effort initiated by the First Lady targeting women across Nigeria to set up home gardens not just for decorative purposes but to grow fruits and vegetables for their family.